Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I am going to explain you about UDF function in Unity Catalog. So I hope that you already know about the user defined functions, how you can use it in your notebook level, but notebook session level. But in this video, I'm going to tell you about how, how we can do that using Unity Catalog. You know, we can save the data, we can create the function in Unity Catalog and we can govern the we can we can uh, we can stick the access we can give access and we can share that that function across the workspace okay how we can do that it's uh, it's pretty straightforward okay so let me do one thing here hmm. okay so i was i was searching something so i opened this debugger let me cancel it very good now very good now it's very straightforward to be honest now you can see what i have written i have written create or replace function this is my uh, this is my, this is my catalog like demo underscore source and uh, is a catalog this is the schema and this is my function name so let's keep a proper function f underscore addition okay input one comma input underscore two which which should be an integer format so you we have to pass here the parameter as well as their data type it is optional if you want to add a parameter you can add otherwise you can ignore this also like so instead if if you don't have any parameter you will pass it like this but if you have parameters you will pass it like this now if you want to include like multiple parameters you can do a multiple parameter right then returns this is the keyword which we have to use which type of return value it is gonna be it is gonna be an integer value so uh, i kept here integer and what is the function i in, in in which language i am writing the function python function it's a python function okay as dollar dollar return input one plus one so instead of i will write input one plus input two something like this i have to keep it now if you want to make a complex logic you can you you can you know write a complex logic also so let me first run it okay and now okay now if i go here okay it's not coming let me refresh the page hmm. if i go to my catalog and if I go to demo underscore source, right? Here you will see we will have here schemas like branch or gold, whatever. Click on branch and you will see functions. Now I like I, I tested some functions, so we can see here one, two. This is also another function called f underscore addition. Okay, so that's what I have created, right? Now I will go again in the notebook. Okay, now, uh, okay, now if I want to use it, I I can I can use in SQL like you know just pass the function name in this case I have to pass the whole function name you know like a, with the catalog name as well as with the uh, schema so now if I run this you will see we will have here three three as a output and if you want to uh, give some name you can say add new something like this if I do then uh, you know uh, then what will happen it will it will eventually uh, have the add underscore new column name and the value so suppose if you have some one table let's say table one so you can call this function uh, and you can pass those columns like you know input one column input two column and it will create a new column right like that we can do it i hope that you understood it now there is a, another way of calling this function in using what using uh, using python right means if you have a data frame so let me create a data frame for you quickly spark dot create data frame and uh, one comma 
uh, let's see one two, two okay whatever and uh, two comma something like this and schema would be what id integer correct very good now what i'll do i'll create i'll write df underscore one df dot with column okay id underscore uh, id underscore new and here i will use expr and i will call that function nothing else it's straightforward right now instead of i instead of passing here one to constant value i i i i want to pass here the column name which is nothing nothing but id right now you you can see here it is showing some error here because it is not uh, you know uh, we haven't imported it so i have to run this now if i do df underscore one dot show it should show us a new column we'll see whether it will fail or it will pass you can see we have one so one plus two is three and two plus two become four right so that's what that's how it uh, you know it works right this is the one thing one way one way or one method or one application sometimes what we have to do is that we have to uh, you know uh, suppose i want to write some logic where i need to fetch the data from outside source so in this case what i have done is that i have uh, you know i have uh, used here api and this is very very uh, you know important or the familiar use case you know in our day to day and or day to day project that you know we have some apis where we have to um, bring the data from it so instead of writing the same code every time what we can do we can create those function and we can distribute or we can give those uh, functions to our team members so that they they do not need to write the same code again and again and they can just go and you know use that function so in that case what we have to do everything will be similar nothing nothing will change as you know dollar dollar now import the libraries which is required and then write the code like api url uh, api underscore URL. this is the url which i have to you know pull it the data from it and this is the code and then da -ga -da -ga -da -ga. nothing else, nothing fancy over here right so let me change the function name here f underscore pokemon and let me run this and what i will do i'll do the same thing here just run this and you will see that hey now i am able to fetch the data from this particular function right now if you want to do some manipulation you can do manipulation you can use explode lateral view to just you know um, uh, <coughs> to just you know clean or you know ex or clean or extract the particular information from this you can do that now a very good thing is that if i go to recent here and this is the branch right now if you want you can you can give some access you can restrict the access to this particular function so you can see there is a permission right so you can go here you can do all these things you can you know you can you can give some permission you can remove some permission and so so yep right now this is the lineage also you can you can check it where it is being used right so i hope if i click on lineage graph it shows here this this is the function demo underscore source branch f addition and it is showing only one thing for now but uh, yeah but but you know when when we use it in a different notebook it will also show that too right so very good now you can see this is the parameter this is the line and everything you can see over here right so and apart from this i would like to introduce my course which is uh, databricks uh, llm course which is project based course i hope that you will like it so the course page is here build ai application already 98 people have registered and it's a four four rating based on i mean five star rating based on four rating so you will be building here a rag model LLM using LLMs, foundation models using a modern architecture, right? So it's a, it's I would not say it's a short course. It's an important course to understand, you know, how LLM and uh, 
you know this gen ai and vector search works so if you are interested you can go and check it out this course and uh, till then i will be making uh, more videos and i am also preparing for another course and which will be uh, which will be completed by end of this month or not this month i would say mid of month and with that i will say thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture and please take care and ta da, -da.